Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, uh, today's video, I thought I would do a makeup tutorial, um, or makeup look, I guess. Um, I already have my foundation on. I have a video, um, already on how I do that. Um, I'll link it below. I, just for a quick reference, um, I use Prime Master by, uh, Face Studio. It's a base for your foundation or primer. And I use CoverGirl in 505 in the liquid and 510, which is classic ivory, in the. Oh, actually, I have 510 and I have 505, uh, 105. So these ones are different. The clean matte are different than these, I guess. Uh, I am 510 in these ones and I'm five, uh, 105 in those but these are usually what I powder with. So that, like I said, has already been done. I'm gonna start off uh, going into my eyes. <clears throat> it's kind of like um, the 180 palettes or whatever it is. There's not as much there, but that's the, I the idea of it. And I also have my Hard Candy palette that um, I don't mind. The shadows don't come as pigmented as um, some do, but let me get this open now. And I like using um, like this shade and um, this shade and these shades here aren't too bad, but I like these shades um, and also the purpley color, purpley brown color here. I find that they're nice um, just to lay on the color for transition colors. I'm going to leave that open some so when I go to use it or if I want to use it, it's the open. Okay, so I'm going to jump right in. Um, this look is going to be um, one that I don't normally, um, wasn't normally doing until recently. But I kind of fell in love with it, so I thought I would recreate that one um, since it's the most recent one that I've been doing. Um, usually now I don't even do um, eyeshadow and all that. I'll just do liner and mascara lashes, do my eyebrow, and I'm good to go. Um, kind of toned down when I normally do. So um, this was what I was doing when I was doing like full makeups. Um, I was starting off with, I don't know if my camera will pick it up that great, but I was starting off with this color right here. Um, I guarantee it's not going to pick it up <laughs> in um, the color like it's supposed to on camera, but um, that is the color. It's uh, tanny brown. It's a very light and shimmery color. Um, I am going to attempt to not only let you see, but use a, maybe a mirror just so I don't, I might be able to use the, the screen, but I'm not sure. So, but I'll start off there and I take this color and I put it not anywhere. Like it doesn't really have to be really neat, but I just put it right here for part of the transitioning color. Um, this I find is perfect. For me, I am, you guys should still be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm going in with this. And I basically take it and I started by just putting it right here. Then I um, started taking it right to my brow. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it the way that I revised. But I take and I put that all here. It helps to transition nonetheless. Um, I have a little bit of fallout. I like to wipe it right away. And I just usually take a brush and lightly dust it off. I'm going to do the other side now the same. I'm just... Bringing that right up to the brow. And it's a nice 
I don't know if you would call it a champagne color, but it's because it, but it is a very nice light shimmery color, perfect for where I'm putting it. Now I'm gonna go in with. <clears throat> this color in this palette and this is just going to give it a little bit of depth before I put in the other color. The other color is a color that I definitely don't normally use um, but kind of like it with this look. But then I just start putting a little bit of you see just give it a little bit of depth in here. So I don't have to go as crazy with the other color. And I find that this look definitely helps, uh, this color rather, definitely helps make everything blend nice. And it's nothing crazy because it's in that palette, the hard candy palette. They're not overly pigmented. I mean, they do show up, and you'll see it more um, in person than you would probably on camera. I know you can see it, though. Like, this depth right here, that's all that. Um, so I'm going to just go in quickly on the other side and do the same. I'm just going to give that some definition because it's the other side. I try to get them the same and even, so. And it's hard to tell because I have really crappy lighting all over my house. <laughs> when I can do my makeup, usually I do it in the bathroom into the natural light as much as I can, but I can't film that well in the bathroom, like not for a makeup tutorial because I couldn't be able to get or use, you know, like up close to the camera like that. I wouldn't be able to do that in the bathroom, so. Let's make sure everything is even. Take away the follow. Goes here. All right, so right now I got my all my lids um done and ready for the the crease color. Now I've been going in, and it's a very I don't know like rusty like brown color I don't really like out of all the times I would have used neutral or browns I don't tend to ever go for that kind of like reddish rusty brown color um, especially in a shimmer um, but this one I don't mind I just uh, here, I just if I can show you I just take and go like this just so the very tip, because I don't know if you can see that my brush has tiny, like a little bit of a tip to it. Just so that gets color. I don't necessarily want the whole, whole brush to grab color. And that is because when I go to put it on my lid, I want to be able to focus it just right in there. Just right in there like that. And this just gives extra definition. It adds a little bit of pop of color since everything is pretty dulled down and neutral. And I just blend that on.
can do the same on the other side. Just gonna go right in the crease. Just gonna give it that color, a little bit more depth. <clears throat> and the funny thing is, is that whenever I um, first did it the very first time that because I would just when I come up with this look the first time I would just kind of playing with my makeup and um, I I uh, didn't know what to put the lid color I wasn't really sure what it should be. I wanted something that would go with everything, um, but not stand out too much or be too dark. Now it's hard in this crazy, I mean, you can see the makeup, but it's hard to tell it like it's even and whatnot from this lighting. But then I take for the lid, and I go in with okay, what is it? this one right here. And like I said, it's just being awful today. It won't, won't show any colors up good at all. But it's like a very light pink. Um, like shimmery pink. And I've been just, this whole look, um, I tend to just do with my, it's still spa essentials. It's just a Walmart brand type of brush. I really like it. I find it suits me just fine. Um, normally I would switch up brushes, but I've been really liking this one lately just for this look for everything. I just find it makes everything kind of go on the best. And I just, after, I just pat it on. Um, not like swirl it like I would. I just kind of pick it up like this off the thing and then apply it the same way and I just pat it on. So the nice transition of the the pink will go on the lid and you'll be able to see it. Otherwise I find it will it wouldn't show up or it'd be something that either would take away from what the makeup look was supposed to look like or you know, just make it, like you wouldn't be able to see it. And I wanted to be able to tell I had something there. Something also that would brighten up the lid. I wanted the lid to be bright. Um, because I was doing everything else. Like this darker and then this is not even like that bright of a highlight. It's more of a shimmery color than like a lighter color that's highlighting and um, I thought that, I, know, I just like the pop on the lids. Okay. So now when I get to this point, usually I make sure that I have all the fallout cleared off. That there's nothing left to smudge around anywhere. And then I would go in with my eyeliner. One that I am using right now is Maybelline Master Graphic by iStudio. Um, looks like that. I um, I don't mind it, but I would love to also have a new one at the same time, a different brand. Kind of sick with all line of all eyeliners. Um, unless you're going to spend lots of money on real, real expensive ones, which um, I don't have the luxury to do. The ones that are just Walmart brand are expensive enough for me. So, whereas I love makeup, but I don't like having to spend an arm and a leg on it as long as it's good quality enough um, as far as eyeshadows go with pigment that's that's all I need 
Now I have my eyeliner on. I'm just going to quickly do that to the other side. <clears throat> okay. Now for um, lashes, I've been just using Maybelline the Rocket Volume Express. Um, this is almost done though. So I also have NYC um, Big Bold Full Impact Mascara. This was um, something that was on sale that I was trying out. Didn't 100% really care for it. I definitely prefer my, my other one. This one here. This one here has a normal brush where this one here has freaky brush. <laughs> but anyways. So I just do, I just did a simple, regular eyeliner and then I go in and coat my lashes with some mascara so they will stand up and be darkened for when I put the rest of the lash on and do the other side. Alright, um, now I'll move on to my eyebrows and I just use a spooly little thing like this to make sure they're neat and tidy. And then I just go along my, the natural shape that I already have and just basically fill it in and make it more darker and more, you know, like prominent to match my makeup that's on my face and I literally just fill in my regular shape I don't try to do too much else with it um, I don't like it to look too unnatural I don't like it to be too light because then it don't look good when I have a like you know my full makeup done on my eye um, or even with my eyeliner really but um, I don't like drawing on like if I don't got hair there if my you know my eyebrow didn't naturally grow that way I don't like to put it on I just fill in where there's already hair I know that a lot of people oh, sorry about that my camera shut off using my cell so it must have been all it could take for um, the length of the video I guess uh, it cut us off at my eyebrows which is what I did before um, I put the lashes on so you got to see that part now I just take um, all I showed you is that I use Ardell lash grip glue um, and duo this is just what I'm using right now um, and this is the type of lash that I'm going for. It's two lashes stacked. I'm just going to let that dry for a second. Now I'm, um, now I'm going to put on the other lash and show you how I did it. Uh, I just go and stick them on. If it's not totally ready to stick still, that's fine with me because it gives you time to be able to adjust the lash and move it around to fit the eye the way you want it to. Uh, also, typically I do this with two hands. So I can get this lash to bend. The one that I'm using is a cheaper brand and they are more heavy and hard and stiff to work with but they give me that look that I'm looking for and I don't have to stack look I stack these you don't need to be ruined since they're expensive so 
So then I just stick it on like that, make sure it's secure and that the lashes are even. And then once my lashes are on, I check my, um, I check my eyeliner, see how that is holding out. Um, I don't ever really care if I get glue on it because it, it dries clear, the glue that I have. Um, but it does sometimes, if you don't make your eyeliner thick enough, it will um, cover up with, you know, especially with the ones I use, the band is a little thicker. So I usually just go and I'll take and run run the, the eyeliner just across a little bit to my eyeliner. And just a little easy, oh, little easy line. And that's pretty much it. Um, I don't, haven't been doing cheeks lately, but I will try to make another video where I show how I like to do um, my contouring and my um, blush and stuff. But typically I've been just leaving it like this and just doing my eyes. So, um... This is the final look. I'll try to get it where I'm not going to blind you guys. Here we go. I hope that you like it and you're able to see and make out the the gist of the look since I have very terrible lighting. But yeah, that was my look for today and I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Alright, bye guys.